Right folks, um, right, Drusina again, Byzantine, or Russians to be used in my Byzantine army. I've been um, a kit bashing, as one might say, uh, chopping and changing and uh, whatever. So we've got uh, like this one, which is um, an Essex body and uh, Daresvolt head. More, uh, yeah, no, that's just an Essex one. Uh, we've got just Essex. Well, Essex, but with an arm from the uh, Deus Vault Byzantine or Russian set with their nice um, club mace effect. Uh, what we've got here, we've got another one here with a Russian head. And that's an Essex body. Uh, quite a few of these have had the shields chopped off on the bandsaw. And I should be fixing on these. Uh, these nice shields with the pattern on them already so you get that effect when it's finished similar to my other one what else have we got oh yeah this one's just a spare Byzantine figure I had but I thought right the time he's had for example um, he's had a bow case I can see that the old fingers bow case added or um, a javelin case added uh, can you see that yeah there's a javelin case there That'll look pretty good and it'll make him look Russianish. Yeah, Russianish, I have to say. Um, another Essex figure there, and I think the head is from an Asiatic. Uh, could be a kit on the air, I think. And then I've had a plume from a Victrix set. This is all the bits you keep, you know, the spares that you get. Uh, yeah, Victrix Galax, I think that was the plume. And this was a spare Gripping Beast figure I've had kicking around for years painted by one of the lads at Gripping Beasts. I thought, well, he'll fit in as he looks Russian-ish, so he'll do, put a bow pace, a bow pace, even a bow case and a quiver of javelins and javelin in his hand. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. The horses are a mixture of, I don't know. <laughs> uh, they were ones I, I won on eBay last year, so I've just been cleaning them up, shaving them, some of them had to have quite a bit of work on them. For example, that, that one there, I had to shave quite a bit here to get the uh, Essex figure to fit, which is quite um, quite tight in between the legs. Um, what else did I have to do? Oh, on this one here, I had to have quite a bit of shaving done, which I think you can see that where I shaved it. But it looks fine, and that side as well. Once the rider's on, and I'm putting it on, and it's all painted up, I don't think it'll, uh, it'll look out of place. Yep, so that's it. So everything's been undercoated. I'm now going to start on the horses, getting the brown paint, etc, uh, etc et on. I've got a half-armoured horse here because these Russ or Russians do seem to have had armoured um, armored half-horses or quarter-horses and whatever. So I've got, a, I've got this as one from, I don't know where this came from. I think this could be a foot soldier. Sorry, foot soldier miniatures could be. Um, half armoured horse from their Roman rage. Um, not sure on that. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So I'll get cracking on these and uh, come back to you when I've made some progress. Okay, well, that's the hard part done. That's the horses. <laughs> no, not really, is it? Um, but yeah, horses are all painted up. Um, We've got the general's horse there, or the commander's horse there, with uh, gold. Sh uh, what would you call it? I don't know. Yeah, front half and chaperon or chamfron on top of the horse's head. Um, yeah, all the horses are painted. I've just got to do a bit of silver work on the bridles. Uh, I've done his with the gold, and they they'll need silver when I get that out. So, what I'm now going to do is dry brush all of the uh, chainmail and silver plates. So I'm going to get all that done. Uh, before I start picking out the uh, the other colours for the figures. Um, so, right, I'll get on with that. Okay, we have some progress. Uh, this figure was already painted. I've just had to touch it up, clean it up, a bit more flesh, um, added some weapons and etc, etc. Uh, we've then got uh, one of the... Uh, standard ranks I've added to him as you can see I've added a bow case a javelin case and a quiver on that side uh, I think
think this originally was a Carolingian figure. And uh, the head is a Russian, I think, yeah, one of the Russian heads. I think it is from the Fireforge Games Russian set. The yeah, a lot of extra heads you get with those. And because I use some of the Russians for Varangian guards, that's why I've got uh, a lot of heads. And then I've got the Russian heavy infantry front rank for the Smurdy, um, sorry, Polk units and Smurdy units. And then we've then got the standard bearer. I've got him completed. He uh, was a, a Carolingian body. Uh, that's an Asiatic head, but I thought it looks quite good as a Russian. Drilled out the top and put a plume in. Added a Russian bow case, uh, a Russian quiver case there, and one of the Russian uh, shields from the Fireforge set. So he's Russian enough for me. Uh, then cut up as a religious icon and a cross at the top. Uh, yeah, so I'm well pleased with him. So that's the, the first there. first three of those completed from the Dracaena. So I'm now going to try and get on and get another three or four done today. Uh, depends what time I get. So back in a tick. Okay, there we go. And the next three. Uh, just finished the command figure. There it is. Um, his bow case and quiver case are cast on. I've added his shield from Fireforge, one of the Russian shields and what else has he got? Oh yes, I've added a mace and an arm from the Russian set and a plume from I think a Victrix Gallic set, I think that was anyway, and he's on a half armour to us, which he can be, a lot of bronze or goldy type armour um, this guy is uh, an Essex figure Fireforge shield or a Byzantine shield, yeah, it'd be Fireforge anyway, wouldn't it? Uh, we've got a javelin case added. And if I turn him around, we've got an arrow case added, a quiver, and a bow case added. And lastly, we've got this guy. Um, he is <laughs> actually a complete Essex figure. Again, I don't know the horse, um, what manufacturer that is from. Um, in fact, the shield is cast on the body, and I didn't cut that one off um, too too close to the body to uh, cut off. So we've added a quiver, a javelin case, and we've added a boat case. So there we go. That gives me. I'll just move all these. So we, what's what we're going to get? Something like that. When I base them, obviously I should take them off the two P pieces. Uh, we're gonna have oops if he moves that out of the way of the paints that's where we are so far that's the first oops sorry move the camera first six completed uh, let's move out a bit you can see the cross yeah first six completed I'm now gonna start another three um, <clears throat> of the twelve so going okay this time not as bad as it was last time when I painted these last week um, I seem to, for some reason, have worked out how to do these. So, anyway, onwards and upwards, more progress. Right, the next three are completed. There we go. So again, bows and quivers and javelins and whatever I added on. And that's that one. And we've got this one here. Uh, just put the. Uh, I've got to mat these all down, obviously. These have all got to be matted. Um, yeah, and then we've got that one. Um, just finished him off. And it, no javelin case on him. I didn't really have the room, so I thought, yep, he'll do. Uh, so there we go. So just three left to go. And that'll be the 12 uh, completed. So I'll crack on with them. Right, there we go. All done. That's the 12. Just finished these last three. Um, yeah, no problems. So I'm gonna base these up and then come back to you, I think, when they're all finished. Standard basin, um, sand and glue, dark brown, three dry brushes, flock and tufts. So I'll do that, get that all sorted and come back to you in a tick. Okay, there they done. There they be done. Drashina unit number two. Got the command base there with a little standard. Uh, 
command was on an extra half armoured horse or an extra, yeah, half armoured horse, no extra. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of those armed with various weapons. This lot of kitted out with bows and javelins and quivers and extra quivers. I've done that for all of them, or most of them, yeah, all of them. So they've all got extra bows and quivers and things which can possibly be seen. And then another six at the back here. There's also a mixture of figures. I wanted to use them all types. I oh, can't really see him. Uh, I wanted to have all types of figures. Put that back. So again, lots of bow cases, javelin cases, quivers. And then the last one, which is this one here. Different makes of horses. I don't know the makes of the horses. I will say that. I think there's a couple of foundry horses in the middle here. Other than that, I do not know the answer. Um, most of the riders I do know, as I went through these before. And again, you can see bow cases, javelin cases, quivers, and I've given them all a, what we would call a lance. It's often called a heavy spear, but it's a lance. So these guys can fire. I think they're known in the Byzantine list as Acrotoi. And they only show them with a bow, but I've been reading up, and they had their spears and javelins. Some threw javelins, some carried spears some fought overarm some fought underarm there's a big change going on we're talking what 10 50 now aren't we just pre manzikert i'm thinking which was the uh, the last of the of the big battles or the apocalyptic battle of the byzantine army right so, 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 so um, yeah we're all finished i'll take a few shots and put them on at the end um, but there we go, thanks a lot and bye for now.